best you'd ever call. We, we just feel like in Spanish speaking places, maybe because we don't understand everything, we find it more romantic and more passionate. And But uh, no, after about an hour and a half, most people are asleep <laughs> in the concert, <laughs> and we have to wake everybody up and carry on. I really like playing uh, Lost. Um, I just uh, think it works really well. I, mean, I just really enjoy playing it. Well, I have two favorites. One is the song Viva La Vida, the single, and the other is a song called 42. Can I ask you if you prefer Barcelona or Madrid? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It's an, it's an unfor it's a forbidden question. We won't say it, it's just between, between us. There's two things we don't talk about. One is marriages. Yeah, I knew that, I knew that. And the other one is Barcelona okay. or Madrid. Well, a lot of people are still comparing you with uh, U2, uh, both of you are known and popular. Yeah. But, uh, for example, my grandmother doesn't know who Coldplay are. No. So how would you uh, explain uh, a person like my grandmother uh, what cold, uh, Coldplay music is? How would you describe it? Well, it's a bit like you too. <laughs> <laughs> But imagine uh, she doesn't know you too. She doesn't know you too either. I don't think How so. How old is your grandma? Uh, 89. What's she been doing with her life? <laughs> <laughs> If you can imagine Julio Iglesias and Frank Sinatra had a baby, <laughs> I know it's not possible biologically. Imagine if they had a kid and then you also had some Judy Garland. Mix it all together, then Put it over oh, the rainbow. <laughs> yeah. What then? Yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a good description. Yeah. She just, she just needs to look at a picture of our bass player. Okay. Who's a very handsome guy, and she would like us, I think. Republicanism. Can you explain us? Yes, people who are Republicans. Yeah. But you mean Republicans in the states? Or? Yes, I do. That's the world's biggest problem as far as we can tell. So everybody should vote for Barack Obama? Of course, obviously. <laughs> we don't sell our music to anything we don't agree with. Okay. So if you were releasing a clothing line and we thought it was great, then we would let you use our music. <laughs> okay. But if you were releasing an evil clothing line with <laughs> terrible clothes, we would not let you do it. <laughs> That's how it is. Like a married couple without sex. Yeah, well, or a married foursome. Maybe in Salt Lake City. Maybe like a Utah, yeah, married couple in Utah. <laughs> <laughs> without sex. We're very grateful, but we always think that someone's going to uh, tell us it's a big mistake, you know? So we're always chasing the future, trying to improve and trying to validate why we're here. Sometimes we get very, very sweaty. That's the worst part. <laughs> Sometimes we don't smell so good. And when you play big places, you really have to run around a lot. When we play these tours, we get so hot nowadays that we smell terrible. And nobody wants to talk to us afterwards. Okay. I think the worst thing about um, doing well is starting to believe that everything you do is going, therefore going to be good or do well, and, and that's the biggest problem, is, is sort of bringing yourself back down to earth and, and saying, actually, not everything you do is good. You know, you really have to work hard and, uh, and keep trying. Okay. The best songs to play in a covers band are Beatles songs uh -huh. and Nirvana songs. That's the music you listen to, or? No, but that's, if you're in a band, the first band. Uh-huh. And Metallica. You do have to do that. <laughs> I think we're going to get very fat and uh, what else? Maybe release another. Maybe release another album. Fat album. <laughs>